What is up, peoples of the universe? Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play. And this one's gonna be a little different because, well, see, this is supposed to be the time, part 10, where I'm going to, you know, do some ranked matches. But see, what happened was, I accidentally deleted said ranked games from, like, my uh, capture gallery. So, I don't have them anymore. <laughs> what I was going to do originally was start episode 11 off with me talking about it and letting you guys know what happened and give like a brief overview of how it went down but instead I decided I'm just going to show you guys the two matches and I'll give you my thought process that happened doing them you know what I was thinking and all that stuff so uh yeah let's just jump straight into it don't worry when I click matches you're not going to see if I won or lost the next couple of duels that may or may not have got us into silver. You can obviously see I'm in silver, but you don't gotta worry about it, okay? <laughs> you gotta see how we got there. And you'll see that in the next episode. Or the episode after. I don't know. I'm like two episodes ahead of the series, so either way, um, yeah. So I'm just gonna start it from the first main, from the first match. Okay, so update. <laughs> I am unable to actually replay the duels because of the maintenance that happened before. I can't replay the duels. What does this mean? Well, I'm going to show you my opponent's decks. And... <laughs> yeah. So this was the first deck that I dueled against. I won the duel overall. But let's turn this episode into a, a critique, I guess. Let's try to see what our opponent was trying to do with this deck. So, let's start with the extra deck. So we have number 39 Utopia Roots, which you just need a level 1 monster to summon. He doesn't have any level 1 monsters to actually summon him. Um, <laughs> already seeing an issue here. Unless it's an effect we don't know about here. But I don't think there is. So. He has some XZ cards. He could summon a couple of these. But. They're mostly just random. XZ monsters that he just threw in the deck it looks like. This deck doesn't really have too much synergy at all. <laughs> he has some pretty decent spells. Like he has Fissure. That's not too bad. Mirror Force. Dust Tornado. Matching cylinder, ooh. Draining shield. Like, you got not too bad of spell and traps, but definitely wasn't the best of decks. Oh, and a mystical space. Mageki. Swords. He didn't get to summon. He didn't get to use a lot of this stuff. I'm pretty sure he only had Call of the Haunts on the field, and we destroyed it. Yeah. I believe this duel only lasted four turns. Let's move on to the next deck. Now, the next person we dueled was this deck. It was a Harpy's Ladies deck. Harpy Ladies deck. And I don't think this deck is finished. Maybe it is. But it looks pretty solid. Not too shabby. Um, he did get to summon both of these monsters on me. He summoned both Cyber, Har Cyber Slash Harpy Lady as well as Phantasmal Dragon. And he had like four Harpies on the field. I think I had ended up drawing Lightning Storm or Wakeki and I kind of crushed his field like that. He did use, he did just use Hobby's Feather Dust and I was just like, oh shit, I forgot that thing's like, you know, actually legal. Um, in the end, I don't remember how we ended up winning, but we ended up winning that duel too. He ended up trying to stall with Elegant Egos, but it just, he couldn't attack over, I believe he had Bane on the field. I don't. We called entirely, but we had, I think we had Bane. But he wasn't able to attack over us, and as a result, we kind of just won. <laughs> it just was a straight-up GG. But, uh, yeah. That basically is what happened. Uh, once again, sorry we wasn't able to, you know, go over it. Oh, and also, because of this duel, actually, let me let you guys see. Because of that duel, 
we had to there came a point where like I needed to summon uh, Trinity in our deck but I wasn't able to <laughs> why wasn't I able to because Trinity wasn't in the deck <laughs> I essentially did like a whole lot of stuff to get, you know, Trinity out. Cause I was like, oh, I could just get Trinity out, 5k attack, and we can kind of just win like that, right? Well, he wasn't in the deck. He is now, as you can see. That's why he ended up getting in the stack. Cause I was like, why don't I have Trinity? What we took out with Trinity was we took out one Dark Law and a Trinity. Um, and yeah. Again. I am sorry for not having the duels. I will do better. Definitely on me. 100% on me. I apologize. But we did win both of those matches. Uh, as a constellation, let's just watch a live duel together. We'll see if I know anything about the cards being used. And then if not, well, we saw a live match. <laughs> And if we, well, it says live, but it's not really live, I don't think. But if we do recognize it, I'll give like some call outs what I think's happening and stuff. So let's see what we got. We have a Cyber Dragon player. Cyber Dragons versus uh, Fire Formation. What is this going to be? Tri Brigade. Ooh. Now, I don't know anything about Tri Brigades, but I didn't know they was Fire Monsters. <laughs> oh, they're not Fire Monsters, they're Beast Warriors, I mean. Beast slash Beast Warriors. Okay. Link summoning off the bat. Alright. Okay, okay. I wish we could see what this face down is. Dude. He has Max C. You're getting Ash Blossomed. Told him, no, you are not adding no Cyber Dragons from your deck to your hand. Hold up, what do you do? Um, once per chain, when a, when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can make this card with exactly 800 and do negate it. Ooh! Once per chain? Ooh! That's kind of nasty. So he's basically down to... Oh no, he can still use... Never mind. It's once per chain, so he can just keep doing it. Is it on to the end phase, or...? Nope. So now he so he can't do it anymore. That. So now he can bring his monsters out. That was close. 2k attack. He said, no, what trap is this? Tri Brigade Revolt. Spell to summon the beasts, warrior beasts. That are banished or in the grave, but negate the effect. Merely as the effect resolves, the Link summon a Tri Brigade monster using those monsters. Oh no. So basically, he's going to summon them all in here. Yo. Link 4? Oh my! Now what do you do? If this card is supposed to summon, or if another beast is supposed to summon to the field, you can banish one card on the field. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one beast warrior, blah blah blah, whose level is equal to or less than the banished monster. Huh. That's not too bad though, he's still sh- uh, Never mind. I was gonna say, he should still be able to attack, but he's about to put summon the monster to the field. Isn't he? Maybe not? Oh. He counts as a monster means that's something to build. This ain't looking good. What does this trap do? Band of Cyber Dragons. With different levels from your hand, face up on the field, old and grave, destroy an equal number of cards your opponent controls. If this card is destroyed by effect, act one Cyber Dragon spell trap card from your hand. To your hand. So let's see. That should be legal. He should be able to do that. And it'll be fine. And he's gonna let him draw these cards. There we go. 
Oh, I see. Because he special summoned, this card was going to banish this thing anyway. So he went on and used it now. And then he's negating it with this guy, huh? If this is a negate, you can target one monster and your opponent's going to suffer into the deck. Oh! So that means he's only going to have one Cyber Dragon that he can get rid of. Oh, wait. He doesn't even have a Cyber Dragon. Oh, yeah, he's going. <gasps> oh, damn. That thing, that's game. That's game, isn't it? Wait, you chose the wrong. Hold up. Let me just read this again. I'm pretty sure he just chose the hold up. My opponent has no monsters in the graveyard. You can target one monster your and your opponent can shuffle it into the deck. Yeah, he chose the wrong card. If he had chose the Cyber Dragon that that guy just put in the uh, deck, this trap card would have never. Like if he would have chose um this. Not that. Yeah, the. Yeah, him, yeah. If he would've chose this, he would've never lost his monster. His 3k beater, he would've never lost him. That's on him. And then he negate the special summon ability. So it's not special summon, just add to the hand. The thing is, Max C is still in effect. So if he's about to summons, he will be able to draw more cards. He's probably opting to like not do more because of that fact. Power bond. Oh, that's not useful. That's bad. That this ain't looking good for Duelist B right now. That's not good. This might be game. Nah, this is game. <laughs> this is game. There ain't nothing he can do. This is 100% GG. 3k beater back on the field. 2400. No monsters in the grave. Your boy's still going off. It's unfortunate that he drew Power Bond. Now of all times. Power Bond was not what he was looking for. There go the attack boost. Yep, this is game. Unfortunate. He tried. He tried. He tried. Well, that was an interesting duel. Tri Brigades coming out on top, beating Cybers. It wasn't much of a match, though, let's be honest. <laughs> that wasn't much of a match at all. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Sorry again that I stupid and yeah that won't happen again i promise but yeah that's the episode hope you guys enjoyed take care peace bye bye